Good evening. Welcome to this special meeting of the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education of January 23rd, 2017. Mrs. Bonifield, will you please take the roll? Mrs. Bradford. Here. <laughs> we'll get used to it. Mr. I got this. <laughs> Mr. Centers. Here. Mrs. Frank. Here. Mrs. Jarvis. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mrs. Bonifield is here. President Burton. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. We would like to extend, extend a very special welcome to all of our guests this evening. We have a number of folks who are here for a very special purpose, and that is to see the swearing in of our re-elected and our newly elected school board members. Uh, thank you very, very much for taking your time out in your evening and helping this to be a very celebratory event for all of us. Uh, if you would like to follow along with an agenda and you do not have one, uh, if you're present in our room this evening, they can be found on the table just outside the doorway. Uh, if you are watching from home, you can follow along with our agendas that are found online on our website, which is at www.livoniapublicschools.org. If you hover over the board tab, you can drop down to agendas and follow along. Uh, the next item on our agenda this evening is uh, item two, administering the constitutional oath of office to Tammy Bonifield, Dan Centers, Karen Bradford, and Crystal Frank. We have uh, three honored guests with us this evening that will be administering these oaths of office. And I would like to call to the podium at this time, Tammy Bonifield and Judge Kathleen McCann. Constitution of this state that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of member of the Board of Education. <laughs> that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of member of Board of Education of the Livonia Public School District of the Livonia Public School District, Wayne County, Michigan. Wayne County, Michigan. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. I'd like to all call the podium at this time, Dan Centers and Judge Kathleen McCann. solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this state and the Constitution of this state and I will faithfully discharge the duties I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of member of the Board of Education of the office of, of the office of member of the Board of Education of the Livonia Public School District of the Livonia Public School District Wayne County Michigan Wayne County Michigan According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. I would like to call to the podium at this time Karen Bradford and Representative Kara Clemente. Do solemnly swear. I, Karen M. Bradford, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this state, and the Constitution of this state, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Member of the Board of Education, of the Office of Member of the Board of Education, of the Livonia Public School School District, of the Livonia Public School School District, Wayne County, Michigan, Wayne County, Michigan, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Okay, now I get to take the mic. That's a scary thing. <laughs> 
Um, I just want to say a few words um, of thanks uh, to my first Kara Clemente. Kara Clemente just um, became the State House representative for um, District 14, which is down in Lincoln Park. Um, she and I have a great uh, friend past. We, we worked together at Cabrini back in our days teaching. And since she had um, just got into office, I thought she would be the perfect candidate to swear me in. So thank you so much, Kara, for coming. And for my other friend, Elizabeth Bohenick, uh, she also and I uh, taught together at the same spot. So I appreciate them being here tonight. Um, secondly, well, I should have said firstly. <laughs> I'd like to thank my husband, John. Um, back when I first told him I was going to uh, run for this position, um, well, we had a lot of conversation at the house. <laughs> but um, it turns out uh, he supports me 100%, um, and I appreciate it every day um, that I get the opportunity to um, take the time to uh, serve on the Livonia School Board. So I'm, thank you, John, for supporting me. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I would just like to thank the, the voters of the city of Livonia that came out uh, to the polls. And whatever you did to help uh, my cause, I am so appreciative of that. And I'm honored and, and really humbled uh, that so many people did uh, take the time to come out and vote for me. So I appreciate that. And I do. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to serve, and I look forward to the next four years. Thank you. This time I'd like to call to the podium Crystal Frank and Treasurer Linda Scheel. Crystal, if you raise your right hand. I, Crystal Frank. Crystal Frank. I solemnly affirm. I solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this state. In the Constitution of this state. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Member of the Board of Education. Of the Office of Member of the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District. Livonia Public Schools. School District, Wayne County, Michigan. Wayne County, Michigan. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Karen, since you started it. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, who uh, we ran together as a group, and Karen and I were the newbies of the group, and so thank you so much. I just have to thank Karen for um, all of her support as we ran through through the election process. This was our first, and so um, she made it so much fun and so enjoyable to get to know so many people of Livonia and really to get to know our community well. She was raised here, I was not, and so she brought me along with her, and so I just wanted to say thank you to Karen and the entire school board. Everyone has been so gracious, and Linda Scheel was amazing, and so it is, I'm honored tonight that she was willing to administer my oath because she has been amazing and um, showing me the way of, of uh, entering into this new uh, venture. I just want to say Thank you to my kids up here in the front row, to my sweet husband, Lucas, to Logan, Kaylee, Carson, and Addison, who have uh, put up with many a nights that their mother was not there. So thank you guys. I am so um, honored to be your mom. It's the most important thing I do. And I just also wanted to say really quickly, thank you to everyone who came out tonight to support all four of us in the entire school district, especially all the members of our um, city council, the mayor, just um, so many people have been beyond gracious to us as we have, uh, we work and we strive to make our, our schools the best in the, in the uh, state. So thank you so much for everyone for your support and um, we look forward to serving together. Thank you. Thank you again to, uh, to Treasurer Linda Scheel, to K Judge Kathleen McCann, and to Representative Kara Clemente for taking the time out to come out and, and make this very special and very personal for all, for all of our uh, school board members. The next item on our agenda of this evening is audience communications. I do not have any blue slips. Are there any members of the audience that wish to address the board at this time? Seeing none, the next item on our agenda is the election of officers. 
first uh, office that we are taking nominations for is the election of president. Are there any nominations for president of the Board of Education? President Burden. Mr. Stenners. Uh, I would like to nominate you, Colleen Burden, for the uh, office of president. Thank you. Support. Are there any other nominations for yes, office of uh, president? Seeing none, uh, Mrs. Bonifield, will you please take the roll? Do we need to make a formal motion? We do not. No. Okay. For the election, we do not. Okay. Um, Good checking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mr. Centers? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield says yes. President Burton? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. And I'd like to thank my fellow school board members. Um, we are all happy to serve in, in whatever ways that we're called to do so. Um, it is my honor to serve uh, as president of a group whom I have such respect for. So thank you very much. Uh, the next uh, office to, to take nominations is the office of vice president. Uh, would anyone like to make a nomination for the office of vice president at this time? I'm going to make a nomination. Uh, I would like to nominate Mark Johnson as vice president of the school board. Support. Are there any other no uh, nominations for school, for vice president, rather? Seeing none, uh, Mrs. Bonifield, you, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mr. Centers? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. <laughs> Bonifield says yes, President Burton? Yes. Motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for the nomination. Uh, it's an honor to not only serve on the board, but to serve in an elected position. Um, I've done it before. Uh, sometimes it's not easy, but uh, we get through it, and I appreciate the support of uh, my colleagues on the board. Thank you. The next item uh, is the election of secretary. Uh, do we have a nomination for the office of secretary? President Burton. Mr. Johnson. Uh, at this time, I'd like to nominate uh, Mr. Centers as uh, secretary. Are there any other nominations for the Office of Secretary? Seeing none, Mrs. Bonifield, will you please take the roll? Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mr. Centers? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield says yes, President Burton? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is the appointment of treasurer. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Bonifield. Move that Allison Smith be appointed treasurer of the Livonia Public Schools School District for 2017. Support. Are there any questions or comments on this item? For those who are in attendance this evening, uh, it, is, uh, it has been customary and it is in, in keeping with our board policy that our director of Finance, I believe, is the appropriate title for uh, for Mrs. Smith. Yes. He also appointed uh, the treasurer of the school board, because heaven knows the other seven of us don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we are thrilled to have her do so. Uh, are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, Mrs. Bonifield, will you please take the roll? Mrs. Bonifield says yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mr. Centers? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. President Burton? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. That is the end of the uh, agenda for our special meeting at 645. We will reconvene at 7 o'clock or a couple minutes thereafter. Uh, and again, we would like to thank all of you who came out for our special meeting this evening. We are now adjourned. Good evening. Welcome to the regular meeting of the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education of January 23rd, 2017. Mr. Sanders, would you please take the roll? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Present. Mrs. Bradford. Present. Mrs. Frank. Present. Mrs. Jarvis. Present. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Sanders <laughs> is here. President Burden. Here. Okay. Thank you. And we have a quorum. We have a quorum. Thank you. Mr. Sanders, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes. Thank you. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, 
with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to our meeting. Uh, we took care of uh, inducting, or rather, a uh, Swearing in uh, uh, two returning board members that just a few minutes ago, uh, Annie Bonifield and Dan Centers, and welcoming two new members to our Board of Education, Crystal Frank and Karen Bradford. So we have celebrated already some this evening, and we will continue on with a lot of other exciting activities that we have coming up quickly. Uh, if you would like to follow along with an agenda this evening and you're present in our room, we have agendas on the table just outside the door. Feel free to, to grab one if you'd like. If you're following along from home and you'd like an agenda, you can find one on our website, which is at www.livoniapublicschools.org. If you hover over the board tab and drop down to agendas, you can follow along. Tonight's meeting is a regular meeting, and by that it means that we have uh, talked about the items that are coming before the board at typically at least two other meetings. Uh, so if you're here to see a lot of discussion among the board on certain items that are coming up for a vote, you may not see the level of discussion that you would expect. Please know that that's not because we take any of these items lightly. It is because we have talk talked about them in our study sessions and our committee of the whole. Uh, and so by the time we've talked about them at least at two other meetings, we'll bring them forward for a vote tonight. Uh, you may not see the level of discussion that you would expect. Uh, if you are interested in some uh, more lengthy discussion on items for the Board of Education, I do encourage you to tune into the Committee of the Whole meetings, which are typically the week before any, any uh, regular meeting. They can be found on our website also, uh, LavoniaPublicSchools.org. If you hover over the board tab, you can drop down to our meeting dates. Uh, if you're looking for a lot of questions and answers and in-depth discussion, uh, please do tune into our Committee of the Whole meetings, and you will find it there. Uh, you better bring a cup of coffee, because sometimes it can get a little lengthy. <laughs> Uh, the next item on our agenda this evening is communications, and the first item, a, item 3A, is our student art gallery featuring Stevenson High School. Mrs. Jenkins. Hey, thank you. Good evening, President Burton, members of the board, Superintendent Oquist. Tonight it is my pleasure. Can you hear me okay? Is this on? Okay. I can. Uh, tonight it's my pleasure to highlight some pretty awesome pieces of artwork by some pretty awesome student artists. This month, the Student Art Gallery program features works by five Stevenson High School students who are selected to have their art on, artwork on display here at the board office for the next month or so. And as you can see, we've filled up the board this time, and we've got pieces up here at the front of the table as well. Uh, this, this is quite an honor uh, for these students, considering Stevenson has approximately 300 students enrolled each semester in a wide variety of art classes including drawing, painting, film photography, uh, digital photography, jewelry, clay, art, art fundamentals, and there are advanced art techniques, um, advanced levels for each of these courses as well as independent study. All of these classes are taught by uh, the masterful teachers, uh, Brooke Brewster and Heidi Posh. Both are in attendance this evening. Thank you for joining us, ladies. We appreciate that. I should also mention that Stevenson has a, um, a National Art Honor Society in which uh, students pay, take part in field trips. Uh, they go to places such as Art Prize in Grand Rapids, um, the Detroit Institute of Arts, and the College of Creative Studies. The NAHS students also give up their time, and they um, are involved in teaching art classes at the Stevenson feeder schools, um, such as Holmes Middle School. So I thought that was pretty neat, too. So suffice to say, the arts are alive and well at Stevenson High School. They even have student artwork on display at the Looney Baker. If you ever stop into the Looney Baker for some delicious Looney bread, uh, make sure you uh, pay attention to the artwork on the wall. Um, those are by some of our uh, Stevenson students. Tonight we are recognizing five students, and each will be presented with a certificate. And the certificate reads, Livonia Public School Certificate of Recognition, Student Art Gallery, Featured Artist, selected to represent the Stevenson High School Art Department at the Board of Education Office, January 23rd, 2017, and that's signed by Superintendent Oquist and myself. I should also mention that, um, let's see, some of our honorees are also so dedicated to their studies. Final exams start tomorrow. So we weren't sure on uh, the level of um, attendance for our students this evening. Um, one student is so dedicated that she actually sent her mom on her behalf. <laughs> 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 to study. So that, I thought that was really neat. So 
So without further ado, I'd love to call our first um, honoree to the podium, Natalie Kelzer. Natalie is a ninth grader at Stevenson. And parents, if you would like to move uh, to a more opportune uh, spot to take photos, you're feel free to do so. And uh, Natalie, we always like to have the students pick out which pieces uh, are yours. You've got several up there, I bet. Yeah. I did the um, hands that are drawing each other with pencils. I did the girl's face with the shiny eyes. And I did the mannequin that is a puppet. Beautiful. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, next certificate is for Michelle Lynn, and I believe I'm presenting on, uh, to her mother. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm gonna okay. Oh. <laughs> Brister is joining us as well. Here you go. Here's the certificate for Michelle. Thank there you. you go. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Thank you. I'm sorry, Michelle. Oh, hey, no. studies are important. <laughs> In Michelle's pieces are the two photos on the very end, so the hands and the food photography, okay. and then the pink and the light blue one, kind of in the middle on the top. All three photography? Digital photography. Okay, yep. very nice. Oh, Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Katrina Musling. And Katrina is an 11th grader. Hi, Katrina. Hi. There you are. Congratulations. And which pieces are yours? Um, I have the sea bass up there, okay. um, the wooden melting clock, and the fruit bass. Okay, very nice. Those are all three different mediums, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have Alexa Pierzynski. Alexa is a senior. Oh, you're a junior? Yeah. Oh, I just promoted you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And which pieces are yours? Uh, mine is the flowers with the gas masks. The one below with the eye and the sun, and then the bread and food. I'll take a photograph. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Congratulations. And finally, we have Laura Stevens. Laura, now are you a senior? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Thank you. And which pieces are yours? Um, the oh, four powder. ceramic pieces okay. up in the front. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, Got a little, little gnome house. A little. What do you call that? Um, just a fairy house. Fairy house? Yeah, and then a little sun box, a mosaic, oh, and like a little that. mermaid pond. Okay, yeah. very nice. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing. Okay. This might be the best display we've had yet. Really? Oh, it's just so beautiful. The variety is amazing. Yeah. Um, also, I'd like to draw your attention um, to the boardroom lobby area, where this month we are featuring art uh, by students from Cooper and Johnson Upper Elementary. So be sure to check those pieces out in the, in the lobby of the board office on your way out. Okay, thank you so much. Great, thank, thank you. Are there comments from board members of the superintendent? Amazing, I thought they were gonna start the bidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the folks were gonna. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. We appreciate, especially on a night like tonight when I know your finals began. And um, what an honor for you to be selected from so many talented students. And thank you so much to Ms. Brewster and Ms. Posh for being here this evening and for all of your efforts. I know how much you care about your students and the time you take with them, and that certainly shows. So thank you to all of you and to the parents for coming out this evening as well. Let's give them one more round of applause. I'd like to mention, too, that after item 3D, which will be not too long from now, we're going to take a break so that we can congratulate our student artists and our other honorees of the evening. Okay. The next item on our agenda right now is uh, item 3B, recognition of board members for school board recognition month. Okay, thank you, President Burton. With this item, I'm gladly, I, I'm gladly going to turn the tables on you tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a good thing. Um, each month, you listen to presentations about people in our district who do great things to deserve our collective recognition. Tonight, I'm happy to turn that very attention to each of you as members of the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education. January is School Board Recognition Month in the state of Michigan, 
We are joining the 540 local and 56 intermediate school districts across the, the state of Michigan to say thank you. As members of the Board of Education, of the Board of Education, you are among the more than 4,000 community volunteers statewide who serve on local school boards and who give freely of, of your time and talents to benefit your districts and, and staff. Our district is very fortunate to have a group of board members who take the public, this public trust and responsibility of this role very seriously. As members of this board, you dedicate an enormous number of hours preparing for and participating in board meetings, not just the regular meetings such as this evening, but also in-depth study sessions and committee meetings, in addition to workshops and any special meetings that may be called throughout, the, throughout any given month. You are faced with decisions that are often challenging and some that are quite difficult. You are tasked with a very large responsibility of hiring and evaluating the superintendent and also for overseeing a $145 million budget that provides the foundation for educating more than 14,500 students with nearly 2,000 employees in our district. You de develop, review, and update policies and procedures and much more. You have taken this large responsibility on, half of, on behalf of the voters in our community, and we thank you for that. We see, you, we see your every effort to chart a course that provides long-term sustainable success for our current, current and future students, and we see your deep care in all, in all of these things. I think it's so great to see you at school activities and special events. You're always there with warm smiles and genuine support for our schools. We can see that you are also very proud to serve and we thank you for that. For many, many may not realize that you, as board members, have either completed or you're working toward your certifi certification through the Michigan Association of School Boards. This also is a very large task and a true accomplishment. I would like to now read a resolution that was recently adopted by the Wayne County Regional Educational Services Agency Board of Education. That's a mouthful. Wayne Reese Board of Education. Uh, the Wayne Reese Board of Education adopted the, um, a resolution entitled Local School Districts Board of Education Recognition Resolution. Uh, they adopted this on December 21st, 2016. Whereas the Boards of Education of the 33 constituent uh, school districts of Wayne County promote quality education for all children attending their local schools, and whereas these committed public servants demonstrate dedication to their, very, to their civic duty and voluntarily contribute countless hours of service on behalf of the students of Wayne County and their communities. And whereas Wayne County school boards are strong advocates for the needs of their students in their communities and with policymakers in Lansing and Washington. And whereas Wayne County school boards regularly do all they can to ensure academic success for all Wayne County schools. And whereas Wayne County school boards understand the imp importance of equality education for its youth and recognize that this is the most important factor in the success of our local communities, state and our country. Whereas local control continues to play a vital role in the success of public education and whereas the state of Michigan and the State Board of Education have declared January 2017 as School Board Recognition Month. Now, therefore be it resolved that Wayne County Regional Educational Services Agency Board of Education in the spirit of the Board of Education Recognition Month theme, School Boards Lead Strong, recognizes, celebrates, and commends the dedication, contributions, and leadership of the Wayne County School Boards of Education, presented and adopted December 21st, 2016. And now we have, um, if I may, Pres President Burton approach. Absolutely. I've got a uh, certificate for each of you. And this, uh, the certificate reads, School Board Recognition Month, January 2017, in appreciation of your dedication to our children and public education in Michigan. And these are signed by the Michigan Association of School Boards President and Executive Director. Thank you. 
Now I'd like to turn it over to Superintendent Oquist, who would like to say a few words. Thank you. Well, this year's uh, theme for recognition by the Wayne County Risa School Board is School Boards Lead Strong. And I really can't uh, think of a, a better um, theme to recognize our our local school board in Livonia. Um, as Mrs. Jenkins noted, um, our board members are either already certified board members through the Michigan Association of School Boards or are already well on their way. I think our newest trustees uh, went to their first sessions the day after the election or two days after the election. Um, this is a, um, a group of folks who volunteer their time and again, as Mrs. Jenkins said, truly countless hours. It begins with um, a board packet that is delivered to them on Thursday that contains extensive information uh, coming forward for that about this past week and then the meetings ahead. Um, and at each of our meetings, um, one of the things that I always appreciate from our board is the thoughtful, nature, the thoughtful nature of their questions, their inquiries, their requests for more information, um, and their desire to be not only very judicious stewards of our resources, but more importantly, to determine what decisions will be best in the best interest of the children we serve and the staff that we serve. Um, this is evident each and every time I work with these folks, and um, it's certainly not just at these meetings, but, but many, many conversations, emails, um, and opportunities to dialogue um, between as well. So um, we are also appreciative. We are also appreciative to your families for the time that you give to us, not only on these evenings, but on, um, on the many evenings where we have special events in the district. So thank you. We appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Other comments from board members? What's there to say? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's a little bit awkward when, as you said, the tables are a little bit, a little bit turned here. Um, it is truly, uh, if I can speak on behalf of my colleagues, it is, it is truly an honor to serve. Um, it, it is, it's a lot of time, but it's a lot of passion. Um, we, as we have taken classes all around the state of Michigan, we have all come away with the same comment, which is. Livonia truly is a lighthouse district. It's, it's exciting to go around the state of Michigan and visit with other school boards and have them say, oh, you're from Livonia. Wow. Uh, that's a huge district. You guys do a lot of amazing things. And, and it's not what's, what the school board does, but rather it's what this entire district does together. We have phenomenal staff. We have uh, one of the strongest PTAs, if, uh, if not the strongest PTA in, in the state of Michigan. Our parent support is amazing. Um, and our, our students are terrific. So it is truly an honor to serve. And thank you very much for this recognition. The next um, item on our agenda this, item, uh, this evening rather is item uh, 3C, recognition of Sheila Alice, Chief Academic Officer. Uh, it is with a sad heart that I bring this item uh, to our board and to our public this evening. Uh, Sheila Alice, after 42 years of service in public education and 21 of those years with Livonia Public Schools, is retiring at the end of this month. Um, she will leave enormous shoes to fill. Really pretty shoes, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning shoes, usually. Uh, but, but truly, uh, Sheila leaves no stone unturned. Uh, she covers so many details that the, state, that the district is responsible to the state for, uh, and so many educational and, and instructional items that have to be uh, passed down to our staff and make sure that we are all marching in the same direction. Uh, it's a comfort to us to know that Sheila has been at the helm of uh, this, this important area of our district for so long, and we wish you very well. Um, I'm going to stop at that point because I'm sure Mr. Johnson has words to say. I would like to invite Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Alice to the podium at this time. Sheila, it is uh, with great pleasure uh, sort of reluctantly, <laughs> that I present you with this resolution tonight. Just to, I just want to say a few things. You know, I've been in business a long time, and there are very few people that I've come across in my time that have the passion that you have for what you do. Uh, we see that every day out of you. Uh, you're a walking computer. Uh, we ask questions, and rarely do you have to go and get an answer. You have it right off the top of your head. And as a board, uh, hopefully I can speak for them that that is invaluable to us. The, uh, what you've given to us, at least for my six and a half years, 
is unsurpassed. I really, really appreciate it, and I think my board uh, colleagues do as well, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And therefore, it is, again, with great pleasure that I uh, give you this resolution and allow me to read it uh, for you because you have done so many wonderful things for the district. Whereas it has been brought to the attention of the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District that Sheila Alice will retire from the district on January 31st, 2017. And whereas Sheila Alice has devoted 20.7 years of dedicated, loyal, and outstanding service to the students and staff of Roosevelt Elementary School as principal, and throughout the district as Director of Elementary Instruction, Director of Academic Services, and Chief Academic Officer, and whereas she had made, has made many contributions to the educational profession and has touched the lives of countless students during her tenure with the Livonia Public Schools. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education does hereby congratulate Sheila Alice on her years of service to the educational profession and expresses publicly its sincere appreciation and offers its best wishes for her retirement. Congratulations, Sheila. I hope you don't mind if I say a few words. Go right ahead. As you know, I am not a woman of few words, so <laughs> I'll keep with that tonight as well. Um, first of all, let me thank you so much for your kind words this evening, um, your recognition and your praise. It truly does mean a great deal to me. It has been my pleasure, my privilege, and my honor to be a part of Livonia Public Schools family for these past 21 years. As Mrs. Burton said this evening, I've been in public education for 42 years. As of this month, January 1975, I was hired by Ray Palmerville to teach second grade at Marshall Elementary School right here in Livonia. So I started my career in January, and I'm wrapping up my career in January. Another similarity was, at that time, in 1975, Livonia was experiencing declining enrollment. And so in the spring of, just like we are now, um, in the spring of the year, I was pink slipped. And so I was in search of another position, and Plymouth Canton hired me in the summer of 75, and I worked there for 21 years as a teacher, a curriculum coordinator, and a curriculum director before I got hired back into Livonia. And so, in the summer of 1996, Livonia hired me back. And as Mr. Johnson said, I was the principal of Roosevelt Elementary School, the director of elementary uh, instructional programs, uh, director of academic services, and now the chief academic officer. And over those, over my career, I've had a tremendously rewarding career, but my career has offered me some really valuable opportunities I've had the opportunity to work with some tremendously talented school staff, teachers, secretaries, parapros, support staff, um, building supervisors, and custodians. I've had a wonderful opportunity to lead with some very, very dedicated school administrators, principals, and assistant principals. I've been very fortunate to have the opportunity to meet, get to know, and appreciate very involved and invested school board members like yourself, parents, community members, elected officials. My positions have allowed me the opportunity to network with some wonderfully talented um, university staff members, leaders of professional organizations, administrators in other school districts, and um, leaders of our bargaining units. I have had the very distinct pleasure of leading the academic services department for 13 years, a department that is near and dear to my heart. 
The people in that department care about each other. They work to service our schools and support our schools. They collaborate. They problem solve. They relate so well with each other. They care about each other. And I have had the privilege of leading that group. Not to say also that they've been really good sports because I've had some really zany ideas on what to do for our annual um, uh, holiday extravaganza performances, and they've gone along with me very willingly. I have also had the fabulous opportunity to be a part of the most cohesive and well-functioning central office staff that any district could possibly have, especially my cabinet level colleagues and our superintendent, who I love very dearly. You have a group of people who give tirelessly to this district, who care passionately about this district, whose emphasis in everything that they do is maintaining the premier status of this district across our state. I am going to miss them tremendously. For the last 21 years, I have gotten up every morning looking forward to coming to work because I work for Livonia Public Schools and I am a part of Livonia Public Schools family. A group of people who care about each other and care for each other. So when I leave the end of this month, I will be leaving behind some wonderful friends, some dear colleagues, and some people that I care a great deal about and love deeply. And I'm going to take with me some cherished memories that will last my lifetime. And so I want to say in closing that it has truly been an honor, a privilege, and a wonderful opportunity for me to service Livonia Public School school community, the students, the staff, the parents, I could not have asked for a better opportunity than the one that you have had the confidence and the faith to allow me to be a part of. So I thank you so much from the very bottom of my heart. And thank you for this recognition this evening. You are most welcome. Do we have any comments from uh, our superintendent or board members? Mrs. Oakes? Certainly. Sheila, we, we are so grateful for you, for who you are, for all that you give to us. Um, I know our, our board colleagues are going to want to share um, some thoughts as well. So I will just share that you have made an indelible impact on Livonia Public Schools in big and small ways. Um, some of the big ways, as I'm, I'm sure we all recognize, um, are through the efforts you've made through our school improvement efforts, advanced ed, leading um, an extensive external review process. Um, you promised you would retire before we went through again, if I yeah, recall. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Um, in which the district was awarded the highest rating um, th that is able to be given to a school district. That is in no small part because of you. Um, initiatives that you have, you have begun not only at the school level, but at the district level. Um, and your, as uh, Trustee Johnson remarked, your passion and, and enthusiasm has never waned since the moment I met you. So it is a privilege to be your friend, to be your colleague, and we will miss you greatly. Thank you. Comments from other board members? Mr. Centers. Uh, I was recently speaking with uh, one of our former board members, Mrs. Laura, and uh, she was, she and I were talking, and uh, we decided we don't think we've met anyone that's quite as organized as you <laughs> ever in our lifetime. And uh, that, that is saying a lot because we work with some people that are incredibly organized and prepared, but uh, it, you are so matric mat <laughs> meticulous and uh, it, it's, it's been such, uh, it's been very apparent and uh, we're really gonna miss that and we're gonna miss having you here, so. Enjoy though. Enjoy some some time away. Other board members, 
Mr. Johnson. There's still time to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments? Um, if, if I may share also, uh, Mrs. Alice is, is going to continue to, to bless the kids of the state of Michigan um, following a, a hiatus uh, and some time to hopefully take some a little bit of enjoyment and a little bit of R&R. &R. Uh, Mrs. Alice has accepted a position with the Michigan Department of Education where we, she will continue to serve the students of the state of Michigan. And we are blessed and fortunate to have you to do so. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, the next item uh, on our agenda this evening is our district update from the superintendent, after which we will take a brief break. I promise. Our, my high school friends are hanging in there. They have got to go and they have got to study. At least we're sticking to that, right? That's what we're, that's what we're planning on. We are so proud of our talented artists this evening. Thank you so much for getting our new calendar year off to a great start um, by being here and by um, gracing a, our, uh, our boardroom with this, with this beautiful work. Um, I'm always pleased to share updates on the activities of our district, and so I just want to highlight a few um, positive things happening out and around Livonia Public Schools. Um, we have had a great start back to the school year um, since the start um, of our new calendar year and, and our return from break. Um, we've had some iffy weather, um, and so I want to certainly give a shout out to our operations and maintenance staff who really um, are up in the very, very early morning hours along with our building supervisors um, readying our schools, our lots, um, and our facilities um, for our students and staff each day. Um, we have had a number of special activities taking place in the district in the past couple of weeks since we've been back. I want to highlight a couple of um, LPTSA, our Livonia PTSA Council, um, have, ho have uh, hosted a couple of important events. We had an opportunity to recognize 120 students, Mrs. Pierzynski, at Reflections. Um, the uh, Reflections um, contest is an, an awards program, um, and we were able to highlight um, many um, creative and talented individuals uh, last week at Churchill High School. Um, one of the co-chairs of that event, Mrs. Brzezinski, is here, and also Nidari, is that correct? All, is, was also, um, is also the co-chair. The students create um, just phenomenal displays of creativity in the area of visual arts, um, dance choreography, music composition, filmmaking, photography. I think I got that one. Okay, so I think we've got, in literature, yes, thank you. Um, and we just so enjoyed um, seeing uh, the, the students come up and receive recognition for their work um, and for the opportunity that the LPTSA gave us to put that evening together to recognize many, many talented individuals, kindergarten through 12th grade. Also, the annual, um, becoming very, very popular, uh, Dad's Chili Cook-Off took place last Saturday at Franklin High School. Uh, many of us at this table were in attendance and enjoyed some delicious chili. I have to say, my favorite, I think, came in second, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed all that I tasted. Um, we had 28 entries, and um, that was coordinated by Kelly Doomer and, um, I believe, and Rob Dzirki, um, who also are on LPTSA Council. And it was a great event. We had um, the mayor there as a guest judge, members of the Kiwanis, members of the community, and many members of our, um, of our staff there as well. Um, so I'd like to thank all of the dads who did some cooking um, and allowed us a great opportunity to come together on Saturday at Franklin. Um, we also um, have tomorrow evening just an amazing event called the Young Inventors Showcase. Um, at Vista Tech tomorrow night, we will be recognizing uh, many, many middle school students from ac across Livonia and Clarenceville um, who have put their um, ingenuity to work and have created a unique in invention that they are presenting to the group of business leaders and to members of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, they will be recognized for their invention. They will share um, their idea, and then um, students will be recognized for that. Um, and the um, Young Inventors Showcase um, provides an opportunity for those students to talk a little bit about their invention with business individuals and also enjoy um, a special recognition dinner. So we'd like to thank the Livonia Chamber of Commerce and all of our business partners um, for providing that opportunity for our students. Um, I'd like to highlight just a couple um, quick notes about our district transition team. 
Um, as you know, um, we will begin the process of merging and transitioning some of our elementary school communities um, after the decision in December to close both Cass and Garfield. So I just wanted to take a moment um, to talk about the district transition team, which has been put together um, and will be is focused on um, working to provide a successful positive and supported transition for our students, for our staff, and for our parents. We will have a parent and a staff representative from all of the seven schools um, impacted, meaning they may be a receiving school or a sending school. We'll also have members of our student services department, um, of our PTSA council, all working together um, on this process. And we will also be, um, the second piece of that, we'll be bringing to the Board of Education in March a recommendation for the relocation of the Western Wayne Skill Center, which was also something that had been discussed over the, pa over the course of this past year. That recommendation will come to the Board um, in both study session and committee meeting discussions prior to a vote um, by the Board of Education. And I want to make an important note that all of the programs um, that we provide at the Western Wayne Skill Center um, for students age 18 to 26 uh, with special needs remain intact. So we are simply relocating that program. All programs will remain available to all of our students. We wanted to be sure to clarify that, um, that piece. Um, and finally, the Michigan Department of Education re recently released the scorecards on each of our schools. Um, in an upcoming meeting, we'll be talking about some of that information in detail. But I wanted to acknowledge the efforts of Churchill High School, um, who have put in place um, a myriad of efforts over the past uh, couple of years, as you get um, that report each, each quarter from uh, Mrs. Alice. And they have been taken off of the focus school status, and we congratulate them on their work, their tireless efforts um, with their students, and congratulate them on their success. And Webster Elementary was once again designated as a state reward school by the Michigan Department of Education, and so we acknowledge their efforts as well. Finally, as we've talked about, final exams begin for our secondary students this week. Um, we wish them all good luck. We thank uh, the staff for their extra efforts in preparation for, for this time of year, and um, we're so pleased uh, for the folks we have in attendance here this evening um, and those joining us from home. Thank you, President Burton. Thank you. At this time, we will take a brief break uh, to congratulate our honorees of the evening, and then we'll, we will continue on with the business of the board. Right now, we are at recess. Thank you. Welcome back to the continuation of the regular meeting of the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education, meeting of January 23rd, 2017. Continuing with our meeting, Mrs. Oquist, you'd like to add a few more items. I just wanted to add um, a special item um, that was shared with us this evening. We have um, a truly outstanding uh, robotics uh, group entitled the Livonia Warriors in our district. We are so pleased. I think in just a moment we're going to hear from two of the captains of, um, of that talented group. But I would like to share with you a very special evening that they have planned. Um, on February 1st, um, the Livonia Warriors invite our community to an open door, um, a peek inside to see, is the robot going to still be in the making or yes? In the making, yes, I'm getting a very affirmative response that we will still be in the making. Um, it is truly, um, if you have not had an opportunity to see one of the competitions, it is just masterful work um, that, that goes on at each of these competitions with each of the students um, and their volunteer coordinators playing such important roles. But this particular evening is an opportunity to see that robot coming together. Um, so the doors will be open at Dickinson, from 6.30 until 8 p.m. Folks can stop in any time, is that correct? Um, and we, they would love to have you join them. Um, the uh, leader of the group, our staff coordinator, Isalina Carlini, is here this evening as well. Um, and I know she would love to see uh, many of our folks out for, um, for this special evening. So thank you for the invitation. And we are so pleased to have you with us tonight. Thank you, President Burton. You're very welcome. Uh, the next item on our agenda this evening is item 3E, written communications. Uh, does anyone have written communications they would like to share? President Burton. Mrs. Bonifield. Um, I understand that I made some uh, hurtful comments at our recent school board meeting, and I wanted to apologize for my actions. My delivery was inappropriate and reflects poorly on the district I cherish with all my heart. I truly believe that each and every employee and volunteer in our district provides the very best opportunities for the students and families that walk through the doors 
of any one of our schools and that every child at each of our schools is valued. That was the intended core of my message. Unfortunately, I did not convey the message well. I extend a sincere apology and assure you that I will not make the same mistake in the future. Thank you. Are there any other written communications that anyone would like to share? Seeing none, uh, the next item on our agenda is item 3F, audience communications. Audience communications is set up as a time uh, for the Board of Education to listen to members of our community. Uh, we are open to whatever folks would like to share with us. Uh, we do have a limit of three minutes per person, uh, and the reason for that is so that we can hear everyone and that everyone can be uh, heard fairly and given the same amount of time to speak. Um, if you do uh, hear a little beeping, then you'll know that you've hit your three minutes and could wrap up your comments. That would be appreciated. We have found that to be a more polite way than interrupting a speaker. Uh, we do have two young ladies who are, I believe, students of our in our district who would like to uh, address the board at audience communications this evening. Emma, uh, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Uh, Emma Farquhar. Parkinson, okay, thank you. And Carolyn McKenzie, if Emma and Carolyn would like to approach the podium. Welcome this evening. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, President Burton, and Superintendent Ocas. We are senior captains of the Livonia, War <laughs> Livonia Warriors robotics team. My name is Emma Farkerson, as previously mentioned, and I attend Stevenson. My name is Carolyn, and I attend Churchill. Our team comprises of students from Churchill, Franklin, and Stevenson. This past fall has been an exciting time as we have been mentoring and supporting our farm teams. The Emerson Robo Eagles, the Frost Robo Falcons, the Holmes Robo Hawks Green, and the Holmes Robo Hawks White. On December 10th, we kettled up all the birds and flew in the direction of Temperance, Michigan. Although there were some, er, the, although there were some of the toughest, most established FTC teams in Michigan at the middle school level in Bedford, we were Livonia strong in the competition and in award presentations. Our middle schoolers were great, our mentors were awesome, and our families were the best. We had a tremendously successful start to the day at Bedford Middle School. Everyone behaved perfectly. We were all surprised to see a special visit from Mr. Strongberg, principal of Holmes. He checked out all the teams and wished everyone luck. Parents and family members pitched in right in with keeping order, watching kids and serving our picnic lunch. It was interesting to see how, although each team had their own picnic lunch and area, the students from all four teams just came in and wanted to stay together. They shared their lunches and chairs, just not to be separated, even though there were four teams. It was very touching to watch, actually. <laughs> As the afternoon competition matches began, our teams flew hard. However, only the Frost Robo Falcons were picked for the elimination rounds. Again, we saw the same transition we saw at lunch. Our four middle school teams that were at times competing against each other suddenly became just Livonia. The Frost Robo Falcons came up and soared through the quarterfinal elimination rounds and then even higher to the semifinals round. Livonia roared with crazy excitement for their comrades as Frost advanced to the final match of the final round at Bedford for the championship. However, in the last match of the day it was not to be. Frost Alliance, the red team, lost to the blue team. One of the red robots caused a 10 point penalty penalty for a final score of 110 red to 115 blue. So we lost by five points. Oh. So, but, but there was consolation for Frost. They did win the PTC Design Award. This award celebrates teams that incorporate industrial design elements into their solution. Congratulations to Frost Mail School on a great battle and an awesome award. The Livonia Warriors are extremely proud of their young charges in FTC and the work they were able to do with them this fall. As our 2017 first robotics game, Steamworks, kicks off this month, we are looking forward to stopping in from time to time to tell you all about it. Livonia Warriors, you're up. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Thank you so much. Any questions that we may answer? Uh, it's not a time for questions and answers at this time. However, we are going to be bringing more students in to uh, present to the board, and at that time we may do so. But thank you very much for being a transition between the idea of bringing students in and giving us our first trial run. It's, it's appreciated. And congratulations so much. You make us so proud. Thank you. It is wonderful, wonderful to see our students participating in our school board meetings. Um, it's, it is something that, that as I mentioned, we're, we're making a concerted effort to do more of. Uh, and it's exciting to see our art students, our warriors, uh, and so many of our student uh, organizations in this district to be able to, to really succeed. 
Uh, are there any other members of the audience who would like to participate in audience communications at this time? Seeing none, uh, the next item on our agenda is item four, our consent agenda. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Jarvis. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve the following consent agenda items as recommended by the superintendent. 5A, minutes of the regular meeting of December 19, 2016. 5B, minutes of the special meeting of December 5, 2016. 5C, minutes of the closed session of December 5, 2016. 6A, bills for payment, January 24, 2017. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Jarvis that is supported by Mrs. Bonifield. Are there any questions or comments from board members? Seeing none, uh, Mr. Sanders, would you please take the um, would you please take the roll? We have the motion from Mrs. Jarvis again, supported by Mrs. Bonifield. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Sanders says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda, oh, I'm sorry, uh, could uh, board members all pass in their minutes of their closed session? The next item on our agenda this evening is uh, 6B, Approval of Bid Results for Multifunction Copiers and Printers, the 2013 Bond. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Bonifield. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve the attached recommendation from the owner's representative, Plant Moran Cressa, to approve the purchase of multifunction copiers and printers throughout the district from RICO USA Incorporated, Novi, Michigan, for the total cost of $1,169,697.50 and authorize the superintendent or her designee to negotiate and execute the final contract in terms on behalf of the Livonia Public School Schools District Board of Education. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, supported by Mr. Johnson. And uh, let's see here, Mr. Francis, would you like to address this item for the board? Yes, thank you, President Burton. Um, our current multifunction copiers, are, which are located in buildings and apartments across the district, uh, and the central office complex are eight to 10 years old and are in need of replacing. This was a planned uh, uh, budgeted purpose out of the 2013 bond. So the printers we propose to purchase will replace um, some 18 to 20 year old HP uh, laser printers that are currently used in the schools. Uh, RICO has provided excellent service and support over the last 10 years, in addition to the available features and reliability of the machines. Uh, RICO USA Incorporated was the lowest responsible bidder on the My Deal Extended Purchasing Program. Thank you. Are there questions or comments from board members? Uh, Mr. Setters. Can you uh, talk through uh, just a minute? There's, um, uh, we have some, uh, again, we've talked about this throughout the course of our study sessions and our committee, the whole meetings, but um, there are going to be some efficiencies built in with the, the new systems here. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that and um, why it's uh, advantageous for the district? Sure. The, the, the plan is that while the overall number of printers and or multifunction devices may decrease, the efficiencies on the cost per what they call the per click will be reduced. Also, the speeds are faster and we're going to have more of the multifunction devices put through some of our larger buildings so there's more access. Right now, for the most part, uh, for example, in our high schools, uh, a staff member would travel to the main office or to the teacher workroom near the LMC. Uh, the plan is to add those numbers in strategic areas across the building so it's more efficient to get to. Uh, in addition, we are proposing a, a plan of uh, a printing process or a printing software that will follow the user. So you could print now 
and 30 minutes or three hours later, go to the device and use your badge to get your printing at that point. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments from the Board of Superintendents? Seeing none, we have an, a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, supported by Mr. Johnson. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Center says yes. President Burden? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. I'm going to jump back up to item 3G, which I apologize, I said right over, which is response to, audi response to prior audience communications. Uh, at uh, one of our last board meetings, uh, we had a member of the community who was, uh, was uh, concerned that Hoover did not have an adequate number of seats in one of their classrooms. And we uh, found out that uh, that, that was uh, addressed during, this, during the meeting, it was being addressed to find out what was going on with that. Mrs. Uh, Scott, would you please uh, address that for the community? Uh, yes, thank you, President Burton. A reference was made about students at Hoover uh, sitting on gallon buckets because they did not have enough chairs. I want to assure the board and our community that Livonia Public Schools has enough chairs for all our students. I checked with the principal, uh, Mrs. Lynn, at uh, Hoover to inquire about this concern. Currently, Hoover has two teachers using the bucket seats. A uh, fourth grade class has six of them, and a second grade class has four. The teachers made them by sewing a pad and fabric on the bottom to create a stool um, for the students to use. Some of the parents like them so much because they're uh, because they're uh, some of the parents like them so much because their students liked them uh, that they actually took them home and sewed on even uh, new fabric and more cushions uh, on them. Uh, just last week. The principal, uh, Ms. Lynn, did uh, include an article in her uh, Hoover Proud blog for the Hoover community to read and look at the pictures of the students using these choices. Some of the pictures showed other flexible seating choices that are being used, uh, not just in that classroom, but uh, in other classrooms. Hoover, along with other schools, are experimenting with flexible seating that gives students a choice in what kind of learning space works best for them on, a, on an individual basis, depending upon the task that they're doing. Uh, there are a variety of extra seats in the classroom besides the standard chair option for these students to choose. Thank you so much. You're welcome. As, uh, as many businesses and other uh, workplaces are, are experiencing, schools are, are no different. We're recognizing that students uh, also work uh, in different configurations depending on their specific needs. So I, I uh, commend the parents and the teachers for providing some extra options for our students that might work just better for them at a given time. Now we'll proceed with the rest of our meeting. Uh, item is, uh, the next item on our agenda is item uh, 6B. I'm sorry, nope. That was done. 6C, approval of bid results for Jeannie Scissors Lift from the 2013 bond. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Move. Mrs. Bonifield. Oh. Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Bradford, rather, I'm sorry. Oh, yep, President. Now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. President Burton, move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve the purchase of a Jeannie 2632 Scissor Lift from McAllister Rentals, Wixom, Michigan for a total cost of $14,107. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Bradford, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Francis, could you address that for the board, please? Yes, thank you. Uh, this purchase of the Genie 2632 scissor lift will provide our technicians, uh, HVAC, plumbers, electricians, uh, and the such, more flexibility and uh, increase the production on the work that's assigned. It can be, uh, it can cause or, or allows much more flexibility and uh, essentially speed of a particular job that's done overhead to move the machine forward to get the lift up there. So uh, McAllister Rentals was the lowest responsible bidder on this uh, scissor lift and we're recommending it for purchase. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments from the superintendent or the board? 
seeing none, this is one of, uh, as I mentioned earlier in our meeting, one of several items that we discussed at length in our uh, previous couple of meetings. <laughs> we chuckle because it was, it was a lot of length. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, we, uh, I'm not surprised that we don't have a whole lot of questions at this point. Uh, we have a motion at this time by Mrs. Bradford, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Center says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 6D, approval of bid results for band shells, the 2013 bond. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Frank. I move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve the purchase of three band shells from Wagner Corporation um, from Awanatana, Minnesota, for a total cost of three hundred or uh, three hundred fifty-four thousand eight hundred forty-nine dollars, thousand dollars, and one for each high school. Yes, and one for each high school. Okay. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Fra Mrs. Frank, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Uh, Mr. Francis. Would you address that for the board, please? Absolutely, President Burton. Uh, the purchase of the three band shells is actually a planned purchase from the 2013 bond it's for the performing arts centers at each of our three high schools, Churchill, Franklin, and Stevenson. Uh, this would be a new addition to the performing arts centers at Franklin and Stevenson and a required replacement of the band shell for Churchill High School. Wegner Corporation was the lowest responsible bidder on the cooperative purchasing network known as the TCPN, in which Livonia Public Schools is a member and we recommend the purchase of the band shells to the board. Thank you. Are there questions or comments from the superintendent or board members? Mr. Centers. For those of us uh, who are not so musically inclined, can you tell us the advantages of installing the band shells in the auditoriums? The band shells, first of all, are um, going to be uh, mobile in the sense that the uh, walls can come down and be stored, and as they're renovating or building those packs, they are creating a storage area for them, and the uh, top portion of the shelves will be uh, contained in the um, rigging, so they can come up and come down. And the advantage, of course, is the sound is the, is the reasoning for the band shell. It will project the sound. If you recall, um, we had the music early in the beginning of the year when we opened up the, the PAC, and it sounded wonderful, actually. This will actually even enhance that by pushing the sound forward. Thank you. Any other questions or comments from the board? Mrs. Donnefield. Uh, Mr. Francis, yes. um, just uh, this was a, an original plan. This is not yes. an add-on. This is originally planned with the bond purchase when we were, were talking about the uh, putting the Performing Arts Center together, correct? Yes. Thank you. Any other questions or comments from the board? Mr. Francis, I also understand that the uh, seeing as the Franklin Auditorium is done, that the, the band shell is going to go into Franklin right away and then be followed by the Stevenson when it's ready and Churchill when it's ready? Correct. We, the bid was written to take delivery when needed, so we won't have to store them, even though they wouldn't be too difficult to store. <laughs> we will take delivery as, as they're done, and as we know, the Franklin pack is, is already completed, and then we'll move forward from there. Okay, great. And our price is locked in for the... Correct. Even though we'll take delivery up to... Correct. A year and a half or two years from now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, any other questions or comments? Seeing none, we have a motion by Mrs. Frank, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Senators says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. And I'd like to point out that these last three items, as we've been kind of Staying quickly, but uh, these are all portions of the 2013 bond, and we would like to thank our community again for supplying not only our physical building needs, but many of the items that we may have needed inside of our buildings that fall under equipment, uh, an equipment type category. Uh, so again, thank you to our community for supplying these needs for our district. The next item on our agenda this evening is item 6E, approval of bid results for the Ford F-350 with plow. May I have a motion, please? President Burnham. Mr. Centers. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve the purchase of a Ford F-350 pickup truck with plow from Gorno Ford, Woodhaven, Michigan, for a total cost of $33,862. Support. 
That was a close one. I don't know who won that that tie. Yeah, that was... This, we have a motion by Mr. Senders, uh, supported by Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Bonifield. You can pick whichever one you, how you'd like. <laughs> uh, and Mr. Francis, would you please address this for the board? Absolutely. The purchase of the Ford F-350 pickup truck with plow uh, is needed to replace the oldest plow truck in the district's fleet. The uh, district has 10 uh, trucks with plows on them. Uh, and, and some of the oldest ones are from 1999. So this is the first step in a plan to uh, slowly replace our oldest plow trucks in the fleet. Um, Gorno Ford was the lowest responsible bidder on the My Deal Extended Purchasing Program, and uh, we did get email confirmation from the, the good folks over at Gorno Ford that the uh, price is still holding for us. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Mrs. Bonifield. Um, Mr. Francis, uh, just uh, for the public, we plow all of our own lots. If you could, you just talk a little bit about the importance and Absolutely. our ability to have open school when it snows. Absolutely, we we our, our crews uh, plow and salt our properties uh, throughout the district, as well as um, the the building folks use the hand um, uh, like snow throwers, etc. So these these plows are critical, and if one of them goes down, it's. 10% loss of, of our capability. Any extra person we can have pushing snow it, when the weather's bad it is, is better for us to get the uh, lots done and ready for students and staff. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other comments or questions from the superintendent or the board? Uh, also, Mrs. Uh, uh, Oquist brought to our attention too uh, earlier in our last meeting of the Committee of the Whole that the maintenance department has been very intentionally uh, setting aside some some budget items that they that they were allocated in order to be able to purchase this without uh, making a hit on our budget, which Correct. is very much appreciated. Correct. We have a motion uh, by Mr. Center, supported by <laughs> Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Bonifield. Um, may I? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Centers, would you please take the roll? Yeah, Mr. Center says yes. Mr. Johnson, yes. Mrs. Bonifield, yes. Mrs. Bradford, yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. President Burden? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 7, personnel matters, and 7A is teachers for approval. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mr. Johnson. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District accept the recommendation of the superintendent and offer employment for the 2016-2017 school year to the teachers listed on the attached document. Support. We have a motion by Mr. Johnson, supported by Mr. <coughs> Centers. Mr. Winry, would you, would you address this item for us? Yes, thank you. The five teachers uh, before you for your consideration have been interviewed, along with many other applicants for the vacancies that exist within the school district. We believe these teachers are the most qualified for the position, and we recommend that they be approved for employment by the school board. Uh, by the way, all these positions are within our current year budget. Thank you. Are there questions or comments from the superintendent or the board? Welcome to Livonia Schools. Yes, welcome. Yes. You're getting into a fabulous district. Uh, seeing no other questions or comments, we have a motion by Mr. Johnson, supported by Mr. Centers. And Mr. Centers, would you please take the roll? Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Centers says yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 7B, Teachers for Tenure. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Jarvis. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District accept the recommendation of the superintendent and grant tenure status to the following teachers effective on the respective dates. Lindsay Gray, January 18th, 2017. Kelly A. Thompson, December 7th, 2016. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Jarvis, supported by Mrs. Bonifield. Mr. Winry, would you like to address that for us? Yes, thank you. Affirmative reports and tenure recommendations have been received by the principals for the um, teachers listed in this report. We'll complete the required years of probation as stated in the motion. Uh, we recommend approval of their tenure. Thank you. 
Are there any questions or comments from the superintendent or the board? Seeing none, we have a motion by Mrs. Jarvis, supported by Mrs. Bonifield. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Center says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 7C, leaves of absence. May I have a motion, please? Mrs. Burton. Mrs. Frank. Um, I move that the Board of Education of Livonia Public Schools School District accept the recommendation of the superintendent and approve the request for leaves of, leaves of absence as listed below. Judy Bowling, January 30th, 2017. Kim D. Sablin, December 19, 2016. Diane Gallup, January 9, 2017. Lindsay Obner, December 19, 2016. And Dawn Spinner, December 1, 2016. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Frank, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Winry, would you like to address that, please? Yes, thank you. All of the employees that you have listed are eligible for leaves of absence as provided under the terms of our collective bargaining agreement. And therefore, we recommend that the board approve these leaves of absence. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments from the members of the board or the superintendent? <coughs> Seeing none, we have a motion by Mrs. Frank, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Sanders, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Frank. <coughs> yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Sunner says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 7D, retirements. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Bradford. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District adopt the attached resolutions of appreciation for the services rendered by Sheila Alice, Patricia Deacon. Support. We have a motion by Mr. by Mrs. Bradford, supported by Mr. Johnson. Uh, Mr. Winry, you're up again. Thank you. <laughs> These two employees uh, have a near total of 50 years of service to the district. Very impressive. Uh, on behalf of staff and administration, we'd want to thank uh, Sheila Allison, and Patricia Deacon for their loyal, dedicated services to the district. And while we love all of our retirees, since I have the microphone, <laughs> Go right ahead. I'm going to take just one second and on behalf of my cabinet colleagues, tell the board and the public how loved Sheila Alice is by her colleagues here in the cabinet. She is regarded as the ultimate professional. Um, she's an ex expert in her field. Not only we know that, but uh, our colleagues in other school districts know that. Um, she has an unmatched work ethic. Um, she is the ultimate teammate, and when we are working on projects, there is nothing that any of us would ever do that Sheila wouldn't jump in and help us with. Um, she is famous for that. And um, I guess the only other thing I'd add is that um, maybe other people don't know it, but she's a lot of fun, too. <laughs> we really enjoy working with her, a great sense of humor. She'll be missed putting together the annual Christmas pageant here at Central Office. Oh, uh, here she's coming back for that. <laughs> so on behalf of Cabinet, thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you. With that, um, I would recommend that the board approve the resolutions uh, before you. Thank you. Are there questions or comments from board members or the superintendent? No? Most motions are very easy to vote on. Some hurt your heart, and this is <laughs> one that hurts our heart. We will miss you. I will miss all of you. We have a motion by Mrs. Bradford, supported by Mr. Johnson. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Senator says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 8, uh, hearing from board members. Uh, item 8A is approval for board trustees to take MASB classes. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Bonifield. 
Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve that Board Trustees Karen Bradford and Crystal Frank take MASB class CBA 106 Community Relations Leadership in Troy, Michigan on February 10, 2017. Support. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, supported by Mrs. Mrs. Bradford. Mrs. Opus, would you like to address this item? Certainly, President Burton. Um, as you know, board members are encouraged to attend educational <laughs> leadership and developmental workshops, conferences, and seminars, many of which um, are provided by the Michigan Association of School Boards. Um, per board policy BBBC, um, which was recently updated, um, expenditures do require prior board approval. Therefore, we are bringing to you this evening a request for two of our trustees to take one class on February 10th, 2017. Are there any questions or comments from members of the Board of Edu Education? Mrs. Banfield? Um, I would just personally like to thank um, our two newest board members for jumping in so enthusiastically and uh, getting on board with uh, their um, certification. And I think we're all really looking forward to the opportunity to uh, be an honor board with MASB. So thank you both very much for taking that on. So you're welcome. Quickly, thank you. And Mr. Centers. I was going to say the exact same thing. It's OK. <laughs> so thank you both. We're really, we've been busy. That's <laughs> right. Good. <laughs> That's great. You're going to stay busy. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions or comments from the board? I would echo the comments that have just been made. It's, uh, it is, it's an honor to serve with both of you already in this very brief time, and we thank you so very much. Uh, for, for the members of the public, uh, none of us, with the exception to my knowledge of Mrs. Laura, when she came back on the board after having been a board member uh, in prior years, none of us come onto the board knowing what we need to know in all of the areas for which the board has responsibility. And I commend uh, these two fine ladies for jumping in with their education to get themselves up to speed very, very quickly on such important matters that lead this district. Thank you. We have a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, uh, supported by Mrs. Bradford. Uh, Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Senators says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 8B, hearing from board members. Uh, as is customary for our Board of Education, uh, we have asked one person to handle a, a lot of the thank yous uh, to a lot of folks that, that are very deserving on behalf of our Board of Education, as opposed to seven of us saying largely the same thing uh, time after time. So this evening, Mrs. Jarvis is going to uh, take those honors for us, and uh, you'll handle hearing from board members. After Mrs. Jarvis's comments are done, by all means, if other board members would like to make any comments, they're certainly welcome. Mrs. Jarvis. Thank you, President Burton. We've had a busy night tonight. Uh, tonight we first swore in our new and returning trustees, um, and which was a wonderful opportunity to uh, formally recognize the, uh, the, the people who have joined our board, our um, colleagues here. We have a really fabulous board, um, as they would say on Star Wars. I've got a good feeling about this. Uh, we also elected officers within our board. Uh, you might see some familiar faces. Because when you are working with a good thing, you don't want to stop doing that. So congratulations to the newly elected officers on our board, um, and thank you. Also, we recognized art students from Stevenson High School, Natalie Kalsler, Michelle Lynn, Katrina Musling, Alexa Pierzynski, and Laura Stevens. Uh, the artwork that these students have brought to share with us is phenomenal, and uh, I've just been enjoying looking at it, as have my colleagues on the board. I hope that the members of the community will have an opportunity to stop in sometime during the month and take a look at this artwork. It's, it's exquisite. We also have new artwork in our lobby from the students at Cooper and Johnson, and that's worth coming and checking out, too. It's phenomenal. Um, so thank you, students, not only for continuing to do excellent work, but for sharing it with the board and with the community. Uh, the, my colleagues and myself were honored tonight for School Board Recognition Month. It's kind of awkward to sit up here and talk about that, because when we work up on this side of the table, we bring a certain amount of passion and dedication that brings us so much joy. 
and so much pleasure to, to do uh, what we do for our kids and our community, um, that being honored for it is awkward, but we love it, and we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. Um, so sure, we, we appreciate the honor, but let you in on a secret, we would have done it anyway. <laughs> Uh, we also recognize tonight uh, Sheila Alice, who is our chief academic officer, uh, who is retiring after 21 years with the district. Um, it puts a big hole in, in our community and in our district. And, and as uh, President Burton said, some awfully big and beautiful shoes to fill. Uh, I think that the word that, that's described it the best is your indelible impact on this community. Um, that's a mark that's never going to go away. You have raised the bar. Uh, we are a lighthouse district in no small part because of you. And the only reason we're letting you go is because we know that you're going to go to bat for us in Lansing. <laughs> we also talked about the Young Inventors Showcase participants, which are middle school students. Um, these kids are literally inventing our future. They have designed... Um, tabletop replicas of future communities. And uh, wow, if you have a chance to stop by uh, to the, um, show, the what is it, showcase show over in, in Novi and, and take a peek, it's amazing. I've seen some of the pictures and I can't even describe what they've done. It's, it, these kids, I can't wait to see if the future matches up with their imagination because their imagination is dynamite. Uh, we had some guests from the robotics team come tonight to talk about the new, uh, the new year for them. The year starts early with them mentoring the middle school team through their competition. And uh, they told us a wonderful story about coming close. Uh, and that's how life is. Sometimes you just come close and that's not a bad thing. Uh, they've also invited the community to an open door session on February 1st where we can stop by at Dickinson and take a look at what goes into building a robot? This will not be a competition. They're still making it. So if you want to see the kids in action, uh, please stop by Dickinson Center on February 1st from 6.30 till 8 o'clock. It's an open house, so if you only have a few minutes, you can stop by for that. Uh, congratulations to our five newly hired teachers, and welcome. Uh, we're really happy to have you and look forward to working with you. Two of our teachers tonight were granted tenure, so congratulations to them. And we do have an additional retirement uh, besides Mrs. Alice, we have Patricia Deacon. Together they have uh, more than 50 years service to our community, which is baffling. What a wonderful uh, commitment and an example. So congratulations to these ladies. Thank you. Are there any other uh, board members who would like to share any comments this evening? Mrs. Bonifield. I just uh, I wanted to mention we talked about our MASB classes that um, a good number of us were uh, at the school law and finance on uh, Saturday. We made it through the fog, and uh, Allison Smith was there with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, just an added thing that we went to because uh, there's a lot of great information. Um, we gleaned a lot of really great information, and, and we'll bring that back to the, the district and, and make sure that we're always going in the right direction. But again, thank you to my fellow board members for participating, and, and it was a great day. Thank you. Other comments from any other board members? Seeing none, um, again, congratulations to uh, the re-election of Dan and Tammy. Uh, the election for the first time to Crystal and Karen. Um, it is, it's an honor to serve on, on such a board with, with uh, these committed folks. The next item on our agenda this evening is item 9, re uh, recess to close session for consideration of tenure charges. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mr. Senators. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District recess to close session or Consideration to proceed upon tenure charges. Support. We have a motion by Mr. Centers, uh, supported by Mr. Johnson. Are there any questions or comments on this item? Seeing none, uh, we have a motion by Mr. Centers, supported by Mr. Johnson. Uh, Mr. Centers, would you please take the roll? Mr. Centers says yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield? Yes. Mrs. Bradford? Yes. Mrs. Frank? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. 
President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. We will now go into closed session. Uh, we will be off the air for uh, a period of time. Uh, I do not know how long that will be, after which the board will come back uh, for a formal vote on the remaining items on our agenda this evening. We are now in closed session. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to the uh, remainder of the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education meeting of January 23rd, 2017. The next item on our agenda is item 9A, consideration to proceed upon 10-year charges. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mr. Johnson. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District acknowledge that on January 13th, 2017, Director of Human Resources Dana Winery uh, filed signed tenure charges against Laura Laporte with the board and further move that the board proceed upon those tenure charges. Support. We have a motion by Mr. Johnson, supported by Mrs. Jarvis. Mr. Sanders, will you please take the roll? Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mr. Senator says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is item 9B, consideration to suspend an employee. May I have a motion, please? President Burton. Mrs. Bonifield. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public Schools School District approve that, effective immediately, Laura Laporte be suspended from active performance of duty in accordance with Article 4, Section 3, 1 of the Michigan Teacher Tenure Act. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, supported by Mr. Johnson. Mr. Senators, would you please take the roll? Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. And Mrs. Bradford. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mr. Center says yes. President Burden. Yes. Motion passes. We have now come to the end of our agenda for this evening. Thank you for staying with us. For those of you who have for a rather long but, uh, but largely celebratory evening, uh, we are now adjourned. Good night.